Welcome once again to the Moj Math and Science. In today's lesson, we will be working on how to multiply polynomials. Now, the same way we treat quadratic equations, uh, same and similar way we will treat polynomials. Let's see how to multiply polynomials. Now, we we'll use these two equations. Let's get started with equation one. Equation one says P1 of X is equals to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. And P2 of x is equals to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now I'm to find P1 times P2. Now, I'm going to use two methods to solve this equation. The first method it's something I know you're used to. And the second is a general multiplication, long multiplication method. You'll be able to choose whichever of the two that is convenient. Now, for the first method, we'll be saying that P1 times P2 is the same thing as 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 times... 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, here we'll be expanding. Let's pick one of, we'll pick this and expand on the other. So, I'm saying we'll do 3x squared times 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus 2 minus 2x minus 2x times 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. And plus 1 times 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now let's expand. Our 3x squared times 2x squared becomes 3 times 2, that's 6. x squared times x squared, that becomes x raised to the power 4. Plus 3 times 5x squared, 3m, 3x squared times 5x becomes 15x raised to the power 3. 3 times 6, that's 18x squared. Minus 2x times 2x squared. That's 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3. Now, when you are multiplying at this stage, please do not forget to use your negative sign. And let me say this. If you have any challenge, you have any gray area, please don't hesitate also to use our comment section. And if you are meeting us for the first time, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be sure to get our lessons anytime we create such lessons as this. Now, minus 2x times 5, that's minus 10x squared. Minus 2x times plus 6, that's minus 12x. Plus, here is 1. Plus 1 times 2x squared, that's 2x squared. Plus 1 times 5x, that's plus 5x plus 6. Now let's collect like terms. That's equals to I have 6 raised to the power 4, 6x raised to the power 4. That's the only x raised to the power 4. So we'll put that as 6x raised to the power 4. Plus x raised to the power 3, I have 15, I have 4. Any other one? Think just those two. Let's put it as 15 plus 4. Oh, you see? My 4 is carrying a negative sign. So it becomes 15 minus 4, x raised to the power what? 3. For x squared, I have 18, that's plus 18. I have minus 10, and I have plus 2. All of them are in x squared. Now for x, for x, I have minus 12. 
Rather than use negative sign to open my bracket, I'll rather use a plus here. I'll close the bracket. But note that here I have minus 12. The 12 goes with its negative sign in here. Then plus 5x. And I have plus 6. That's the only constant. Now, that same thing as 6x to the power 4 plus 15 minus 4, that's 11. x to the power 3. 18 minus 10, that's 8. 8 plus 2, that's 10. 18 minus 10, that's 8. 8 plus 2, that's 10. X raised to the power 2. And here I have plus. But note that in the brackets, we have minus 12 plus 5. If I'm owing 12 Naira and I have 5 Naira, effectively, I'm owing 7 Naira. That becomes minus 7. Minus times plus carries the negative sign. Minus 7x and plus 6. Now, with this, we have used the expansion method to multiply these two polynomials. Now, let's use the second method. If I'm multiplying... Okay, let me just wipe. If I'm multiplying 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 and here I have that's my p1 okay and my p2 is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 this time we're going to use the same principle we use in our long multiplication. Let's recap on our long multiplication. I just want to quickly do a little recap so that you can visibly follow me. On our long multiplication, if I'm doing long multiplication, let's say I'm multiplying 56 times 32. For my long multiplication, we'll say that 2 times 6, that's 12. 2 times 5, that's 10. We have carried 1 here. And this becomes 11. 3 times 6, we shift to the other side. This becomes 18. I put 8. Times 5, 15 plus 1, that's 16. Then I add everything together. The same principle we have used here is the same principle we are going to adopt here. Now, 1 times 6, that's 6. I want to start at the other edge. 1 times 5, that's 5x. Plus 1 times 2, yes, plus 6, plus 5x, that's plus 2x squared. Minus 2 times 6, that's minus, minus 2x times 6, that's minus 12x. Minus 2x times 5. That's minus 10x squared. Minus 2x times 2x squared. That's minus 4x raised to the power 3. Now, my 3x squared times 6, that becomes, I'm going to shift under here. 3x squared times 6, that's 18x squared. 3x squared times 5, that's 15x, that's plus, plus 18, plus 15x squared, x cubed. 3x squared times 5, that's plus 15x cubed. 3x squared times 
4 and uh, 3x squared times 2x squared. That's 6x raised to the power 4. Positive. So now we can now sum up the same way we we'll do in our long multiplication. Now this is 6, comes down here to become 6. This is 7 plus 5 plus 12. That's Oh, this minus 12 plus 5x minus 12x. That's minus 7x plus 2x squared minus 10x. That's minus 8x squared plus 18x squared. Remember, this is plus 2x squared minus 10x squared. That's minus 8x squared plus 18x squared. That's obviously plus 10x squared. And minus 4x cubed plus 15x cubed. That's plus 11x cubed. And lastly, we have plus 6x raised to the power 4. Our results should be the same thing. If you watch... You have the same thing, 6x raised to the power 4, plus 11x raised to the power 3, plus 10x squared, minus 7x, plus 6. You can actually look at both methods and choose which will be easier for you to use. Let's solve the second question. Now let's get started with the second example. P1 of x... times P2 of X. That's the same thing as 4X raised to the power 3 minus 2X squared plus 3X minus 1. We'll multiply it with P2 of X which is 3X squared minus 4. Now let's expand. Let's use the expansion method first. Then we'll use the long multiplication method second. Now, from my expansion method, I have 3x squared. 3x squared three x squared into 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Minus 4 into 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. So that this is the same thing as 3x squared times 4x raised to the power 3, that's 12x raised to the power 5. 3 times 4, that's 12. x squared times x cubed. From our laws of indices, We'll add what is the powers. 2 plus 3, that's 5. 3x x squared times 2x squared, that's minus 6x raised to the power 4. Plus 3x squared times 3x, 9x raised to the power 3. 3x squared times minus 1, minus 3x squared. Now you have minus 4. Minus 4 times 4, that's 16. X raised to the power 3. Minus times minus becomes plus. 8X raised to the power 2. Minus times 3 becomes minus 12X. And minus times 4 becomes plus 4. Now let's collect like terms like we've always done. That's, the, where we just, X raised to the power 5, that's 12X raised to the power 5. Minus, there's just one x raised to the power 4, that's minus 6x raised to the power 4. x cubed, x cubed, that's plus, plus 9 minus 16. Plus, okay, let's use the bracket to make it easier. That's plus 9 minus 16. That's x cubed. Any other one, that's the only one. Then, 
For the x squared, we have minus 3. We have plus 8. And that's just 2. That's x squared. And what of the x? We have just minus 12. Minus 12x 12 plus 4. So this same thing as 12x raised to the power 5 minus 6x raised to the power 4 minus 9 minus 16, that's minus 7. Minus 7x seven raised to the power 3 minus 3 plus 8, that's plus 5x raised to the power 2 minus 12x plus 4. With that, we have been able to multiply P1 and P2. Let's use the second method. That's our long multiplication method. Now we're going to multiply 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. By note that here you have 3x squared now plus there is no x here. So what I'll do is to avoid getting confused, I'll replace my x with 0x. Plus 0 is 0. Then minus 4. I've only added 0x to avoid getting confused. Now minus 4 times 1. Minus 1, that plus 5. Minus 4 now times 3x, that's minus 12x. That's minus 12x. Minus 4 times minus 2x squared, that's plus 8x squared. Minus 4 now times 4x raised to the power 3, that's minus 16x raised to the power 3. Now let's use 0. 0x zero times 1 obviously is 0. But that's going to help me identify where I am placing my parameters. Here is 0x. Zero 0x. Zero here is 0x zero squared. Here is 0x um, squared. Here is 0x cubed. And here is plus 0x raised to the power 4. The 0 is just to help me place my parameters so that you don't get, don't get confused. Now, as you practice often, you will, you will need to do that. 3x squared times 3x squared times minus 1. 3x squared times that's minus 3x squared. Now, with the 0, I've been able to shift appropriately. 3x squared times 3, that's plus 9x squared, x cubed. 3x squared times minus 2, that's minus 6x raised to the power 4. And 3x squared times this, that's plus 12x raised to the power 5. Let's now sum it up. I think I can wipe this up a little bit to give me space. Let's sum it up. 5 comes down. That's plus, oh, sorry, it's not 5, that's 4. Minus 4 times minus 1, that's plus 4. Becomes plus 4. Minus 12 down. Minus 12x. 8 plus 0, obviously, is 8. Minus 3, that's plus 5x squared. And minus 16 plus 0 is minus 16. Minus 16 plus 9, that's minus 7x raised to the power 3. And 0 and 6, that's minus 6x raised to the power 4. And 12, finally... That's plus 12x raised to the power 5. Now let's compare our results. I have 12x raised to the power 5, minus 6x raised to the power 4, 
minus 7x to the power 3 plus 5x squared minus 12x and plus 4. With that, I hope you understand how to use polynomials, how to multiply polynomials. If you have any great areas, please don't hesitate to use our comment section down below. Also, we'll create a link, we'll add a link to how to add and subtract polynomials, which was the last lessons we taught. And if you are meeting us for the first time, please do not hesitate to use the subscribe button so that you get notified anytime we create such lessons as this. And at the same time, you'll be showing YouTube that you love what we're doing. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Thank you. See you another time.